Avocados. In this video, we're going to be calculating the probability of certain outcomes when rolling dice. And in order to do this, we're going to be utilizing the Monte Carlo simulation that uses random sampling to evaluate possible outcomes. So the challenge for today is to write a Python function to determine the probability of certain outcomes when rolling dice. What we're going to get as the input is the variable number of arguments for sides of dice. And this function needs to return a table of probability for each possible outcome. There are several conditions or caveats if you'd like. First of all, we might use several dice. So the function needs to account that possibility. And the number of sides per dice may vary. And to exclude any possibility to hard code anything, we're going to set the attempts to a million tries. Let's have a look at the examples. So for example, we have our function, we'll call it say roll dice, and we pass the number of sides for a die. So we have one six sided die. And the function returns the probability for each side of the die. Equally works for two six sided die, but here we get the probability of the sums. In other words, what's the probability of throwing 7, 11, 3, and so on and so forth? Pause the video here and try to solve it yourself, and I'll see you on the other side with my solution. All right, here we go. So I'm going to use Google Colab. And what I'm going to do first, I will import the random or pseudo random from the random module. So I'll import runt int because I'm only interested in the whole numbers. After that, from collections, I will import the counter. We'll utilize it to count the number of tries. Now that all imports are done, we can get on with our own function. So I'll call it as in example, roll dice. And I'll prepend the function parameter with an asterisk, which means we're going to pass a variable number of arguments to that function. And the second parameter is going to be num trials, which we will hard code to 1 million. Pay attention that we can actually use underscores with the number to divide it, and Python will have no problem with that. Next, we'll initialize variable counts, which will contain our counter. And after that, we can specify the for loops. So the upper bound of this for loop is going to be our num trials, which is 1 million. And as long as it's not reached, we're going to perform the following. In essence, we are simulating rolling each of the dice in a variable input parameter and some individual outcomes together. And we can also use the resulting value as the index into the counts dictionary to increment it by one. And what is left to do is print them out. So we can use the for loop to print out the distribution of individual probabilities as the percentage value. All right, let's give it a try. I'll call this function with say one six sided die and we're going to get the distribution of probabilities. So here we go. Works as in the example. So let's try with um, several dice. So a couple, two, six and six, and we get the probability distribution of sums. All right, so that was one of the possible ways to solve this challenge, and I'll urge you to try yourself. But anyway, that was V. Please give this video Emperor's thumbs up, toll the bell, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.